guys welcome back to my channel uh this is chimri as you all know so i said in my last vlog that i'll be traveling for something in the village and this is currently it's tuesday and i have two more days to go i'm still in the office i'm trying to tidy up work so that i won't like get stressed out or get worried that some tax that i'm supposed to do is not done so i'm here today and him also going to be coming to work on wednesday meanwhile i'm traveling on thursday so i'm just trying to tidy up everything i hope i can meet up with everything and just round up everything before i leave and i have to still do my hair and you know pack some few things and everything this is me still in the office i just want to give you guys an update on what's going on and yeah basically so i'll, I'll talk to you guys later when maybe tomorrow when i have almost done with everything i'm supposed to do Body cutting. You should just move. I see what the guy do. Maybe he wanted to move. Who oh, about the Shikler road? Angry with you. What did you do? Wow. Guys, I just finished my hair. Look at how uh, this place is looking. Look at my hair. So, quick update. I want to wash my hair and get it ready for tomorrow because I have to make my hair to travel. So, that's what I'm trying to do. My hair has actually grown. Still, virgin hair, by the way. Proud of this. Growth, but yeah, I'm really tired to be honest because it has been a long day. But you know what, we gotta do, we gotta move as the world moves. Peace. So, let me show you guys what I'll be using to uh, wash my hair. So, I'll be using this uh, shampoo V05 or V05. Then, this, this is the shampoo actually, and this is conditioner. If you have known me, you know this is the only shampoo and conditioner I use. This is the only brand. Sponsor me, please. Yeah. Again, this is day two, so this is like the day before I actually travel, and this is like four o'clock. I just finished everything that I was supposed to do today when it comes to work, and now I'm getting ready to go home. I'm waiting for someone so I can go home. To be honest, I'm really tired and sick. Like I need to rest and I need to take I need to buy my allergy drugs so that I can survive the tree. I'm suffering. But anyways, thank God I'm still alive. Seriously, I don't know why. But anyways, I'm happy and grateful for that. And I just want to go home, try and get my head done like ASAP, then like go home and actually rest and buy the things I want to buy. I don't have any cash. The cash I have here is 2K, like literally. So I also, also want to withdraw maybe 10K or something. 
and you know keeping my bag for emergency <clears throat> and uh, basically that's it then pack my little things i'm going to be carrying because i'm always carrying much um yeah basically i don't know what to wear tomorrow that's so annoying uh i can i wear the book because i want to see i don't know i'm literally just i just want to wear something <clears throat> Really cold and oof, tired. This is hot water. Guys, traveling is exhausting. Thinking of tra about traveling is also exhausting. Like, I'm literally dying. Literally, I just want to come back. And I'm also writing exam and test. <sighs> Kill me already. Yeah, basically, that's what Sergeant I say. Um, sorry, my phone is not at the back, so I'm kind of looking at the screen instead of my my camera itself. So that's all I have today. Like literally, I said it all. So I'm just going to show you guys after I've done my hair. I hope you guys will be able to see it. It's supposed to be dark. Then after that, the parking situation and the rest. See my hair, guys. I came out of my house like this. If you just show you how tired I am. Hi. It's fine. It's fine. It's It's okay. Oh, yes. thank God. We're about to scout you. We're about to go and keep on living your life. Yeah. How much? One five. Are you serious? Yes. It's too so expensive. What was the expensive from where? Do you know how much they collect on my own? The one is um, small, small. And one is big, big. Mm. I told her to make it fast. Hello, guys. So, before watching this video, just note that it's not complete. We didn't do the full round trip because I had to. Uh, stop in the middle of uh, I think uh, the fifth state that we went to I had to stop because of my phone died so we are supposed to go from Lagos to Ogun State to Ondo State to Edo State uh, and Bini Bypass to Delta that's Asaba to Anambra then Imo State but my phone died in the middle of the road in the middle of the day and I couldn't record throughout the whole trip the complete whole trip and we slept on the road i couldn't record that part too because it was exhausting i couldn't even pick up my phone i was so tired so i think we slept on the road in anambra that's after delta yeah we slept on the road it was around 11 o'clock they closed all the gates and going towards emo state so we had to sleep on the road for how many hours if was you know till 6 o'clock still 6 a.m in the morning before i picked up my camera and we had already landed in emo state i had to pick up my camera that's the last part of the vlog where i was saying that i was tired so yeah basically morning guys so we are currently uh in the dd of traveling i just finished going to see precious she just finished cooking the food she tried oh my god and we're about to i'm about to take my bath and get ready to go because we're leaving around at five o'clock so basically just get ready to travel this is going to be a long a tiring trip and i can't wait to just get over with this journey and get home i'll be taking guys through my travel today let me guys show you let me show you what's downstairs because we're not really packing much we have packed most of our things we have to rebuild them so it's just few things that are left that we need to pack remember they are toothbrush they are towel and everything you even need a line on for it eh? mm -hmm. so this is what we are packing not really much rice is cooked and This guy does it. Get ready. Teach your mother. Say hi to my vlog. Uchina. Are you trying to boom boots here? Are you, are you stupid? Uchina. 
It's not, I cannot see your face here. Yeah. Mm. It's only too much fish class. No, I don't want flash, it's night. Then mm. this is mine. Tired as hell already. Oh. Getting ready. Look, what are you doing? I'm trying to open boots here. Is it even boots? It's just one dead. Stand up, stand up, come on. No, you don't got to open. Don't, don't sweat. <sighs> well. Head southwest, the New Sagano Expressway, A121. <laughs> See? 
Eating banana. This is a travel favorite. Banana and the plantain. A banana and granite. Now, video me as I'm eating because I'm a star. You take the banana, you peel it like this. Take the banana. So much, so much. Okay. Take the granuts. Roll the granuts. Okay. You dance it around like this. Uh -huh. Turn the waist. Okay. Turn the waist. <laughs> then. So much. So much. Pull it up. Okay. So much, please. Make I show. Make I show them what to. The top, the top like see the granite in front, so you go chop them like this. You take the banana, then you take the granite. Then you take your drink. Mm, my drink! Mm, mm, thank you, mm. It's a very dry combination, so you have to take drink. I think my period is even about to start. I'm just like irritated. Guys, it's not easy to live, like literally. Everyone is tired. Uh, and, uh, before you pump water and everything. Uh, no, we have pump water already. Yeah. 
He's a bomb this year. And don't get me started on the traffic. We left Lagos by 6 o'clock a.m. And we reached the village by the next day, is it by 7 or 8 a.m. in the morning. So the traffic was too much. It's an Easter period. I don't know why the traffic was much. I know Lagos had a lot of traffic because it was a weekday. People had to go to work. But we left very early, yeah. We left by around 6 a.m. So why was the traffic so much? Traffic, the traffic also stopped us at the uh, Delta State. That's why we had so much traffic. Delta crossing to um, Anambra State. Traffic was so much. It is Easter period. It's often, it's often Easter period, Easter period. Because that was a week after Easter. A few days. Okay, that was, oh, oh okay, okay okay that was a day after a day before easter so maybe that's why traffic was so much but i didn't expect people to travel because you know it's easter period people don't really travel and it's not that much of a holiday you don't have so much like this compared to christmas so people that travel for easter wow that is that's very good but it's just so, so exhausting like i was regretting my entire decision there I was like, why did I travel by road? Blah, blah, blah. So many complications. Anyways, we thank God that everything went well. Even though we slept on the road, it was not that big of a deal. Nobody tried to kidnap us. Nobody tried to kill us. Nothing, nothing. And we were safe. Safe and we are all right. And nothing actually happened to us. We slept well. Even though there was like disturbances. Like people were disturbing on the road that day, that night. When we were sleeping on the road, yeah. But it wasn't that much. I mean, very uncomfortable situation. The weather was hot, even though it was night. It was very, it was very traumatic, to be honest. If you have money, don't travel by road. Don't even experience it. It's not even something you need to experience. Although I think I'll be need this next time because uh, I don't know. It's kind of fun at the same time. It's exhausting. It's just something you have to do. You know. It's just something you have to do and i like traveling with my with my family it's very it's kind of fun kind of it's not that fun but it's just there you know traveling alone is kind of weird and lonely for me so will i do this next time yeah but if i like have my own children and like keep it and blah, 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 i won't be doing that we are a family of six even though my two siblings are not here but i have we have family of like five now and we have so many people that have followed us by our road so it was not something that we did alone you know we did it together and imagine a family of six traveling by air like how much you want to spend so i think this is more economical in our own end and it's just better 